I've always been a generalist. I dabbled in many things, web design, graphic design, event planning, crafts, data analysis, the list goes on and on. I never gained enough skills in one area to become a specialist. My channel is a perfect reflection of that, a mixed bag of videos. The camera is probably the only thing I've held onto for most of my life. Even then, I didn't really take the time to learn how cameras work and practice using them until about three years ago. It's hard to commit to something. It's hard to get past the plateau of latent potential and get through to the other side. It's hard to continue practicing after losing the initial excitement. Well, the first class was the hardest shit ever. So I'm almost like, oh, it's the fastest three hours ever. It was probably the longest three hours of my life. <laughs> it was so hard. There could be a million excuses of how it all unfolded, but in the end, it's just me giving up before I was able to experience the full value of my efforts. This is one explanation of why some of us evolved into a generalist. James Clear, the author of Atomic Habits, demonstrated this idea really well in this plateau of latent potential chart. We tend to think progress should progress in a linear way. The more efforts we put in, the more results we should see. But in reality, results are often delayed. Many of us give up before we even see the results of our efforts. We get stuck in the valley of disappointment. Is there something you want to get really good at? Are you tired of being a generalist? Pick one thing you want to consistently work on this year. It doesn't even have to be a skill, it can be a habit that will help you reach your goal. Since we're less likely to procrastinate with an accountability partner, I want to share mine with you. Knowing someone is watching can be a powerful motivator, especially for sensitive people like me. This year, I want to commit to getting better at photography and documenting my journey. At least for the first half of the year, I want to focus on just me and my camera on this channel. It's scary to even say this out loud because it means I have to commit. Last year on Black Friday, I actually purchased a course from this photographer slash influencer on Instagram with Luke. I purchased his Lightroom editing course because I really liked his style. It's been really fun to go through the course so far. It's just fun to see how a professional edits his photos. The class also helped me see how much room I still have in improving my photography. In the end, if the photo is composed badly or not that creative, then even editing can't help save the photo. In the past, I shot a lot of portraits because they were very rewarding and fun for me. This year, I also want to work on other types of photography. If you also want to work on your photography this year, there's an exercise I think you should do with me. I stumbled upon a video by Mark Denny. He suggested a really great way to decide what you want to work on in terms of photography in this new year. He suggested we look through our own Instagram page, look at all the pictures you took this year, pick five photographs that you really liked, list out what you like about them. Also look at what are the varieties that they're missing. Go to the Instagram page of the five photographers that you love and look through all the photos and see what you like about them. Look for the common themes and these are probably the things that we can work on this year. I really love that so I'll link his video in the description below. Another thing I want to work on this year is Blender. Blender is a free open source software that enables you to create 3D CG content. I started learning Blender last year and I really enjoyed it. I was able to create this character that I love in Blender without even knowing how to draw. I want to learn Blender because the possibilities are endless. My goal is to be able to create these things I imagined in my head and bring into reality in Blender. 
I was able to experiment with a lot of things since my channel is still small. But at the same time, it's even more important for small channels to really focus. So that's what I will work on this year. The ultimate goal for the channel is still the same, making positive impacts on people's lives. Thank you for watching this video. If you want to follow my journey, don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. The 16 is so wide and now that it's not in 4K, it seems to be so far. Let's see how this goes.